it's your girl Kisser Kicks back with another flick. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because it's only going to get lit. Hey, up in this bit. And guys, I am back with a new video, a little something different, but I know I haven't been posting as frequently as I should. And I have still been copping shoes. So what I'm going to do is show you guys what I've picked up for the month of August. But let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I don't have, like, it's like a toss-up. I have some pretty good releases and I have just some general shoes that I just picked up along the way. If you don't know, I do work at a sneaker store. So um, because I work at a sneaker store, I'll be picking up, you know, not, I'll pick up what I want to pick up basically. So let's go ahead and get into that. So what we're first going to start off with, because I have like a couple, well, let's see, I got some Puma, Jordan, Puma and Jordan. Dang, man. No, just regular Nike. So let's go ahead and get into the first thing that I copped, and I actually got these during um, my jobs, 50% off. I ended up spending about 30 bucks on these. I knew I wanted to pick these up because, if you don't know, I am from Prince George's County, Maryland. And um, there's a rapper by the name of YBN Corday who signed with Puma. He had a couple shoes come out, and this was one of his shoes. And I definitely wanted to show love and support him because he's from the area. So I did pick up the Puma Future Rider. Paid like I said, I paid about thirty dollars for these. I think um, the retail was probably like I think seventy on them. But I think it's a really sneaky shoe. A lot of people don't have. I love the style of it. It's definitely a summer shoe, but as you can see, I haven't even worn it yet. And guys, go ahead and check that out, man. Like, I love it. I love the colors. I'm kind of blown because there was, like, some, um... He had some clothes that went out of it with, with them as well, but because I kind of got them so late, I had gone on Puma a couple times and I actually missed it. I got these in a size five and a half. They kind of... I would say they run a little small, so I was... I normally wear, like, a five in kids, but I definitely needed a five and a half for these. Especially because I wear thick socks and because summer is coming to an end, I want to be able to wear these in the fall and wear them comfortably, you know. So I definitely want that half size up. Yes, so that was the first one. Puma Future Rider, YBN Corday Edition. And Puma's actually coming up, you know. Like, I don't know if you guys are watching or if you guys are into Pumas, but they have like the Puma Dreamers. Now that's with J. Cole. You have like the Puma. Puma Future Riders, you have the RSXs, the RSX3, there are so many different colorways. Um, I like a lot of the colorways, I don't like the style of the RSX or RSX3 because it's a very bulky shoe, you guys already know how I feel about the bulky shoes, but not knocking it, um, Puma's definitely doing this thing like I said. Since we're staying on Puma, moving on to the next one, if you did watch my um, video on these, I was able to pick up um, the Puma and J. Cole Puma Dreamer, his first colorway that came out. I did do a video on these, love it. I also have not worn these yet. Ended up actually paying like $52 for these because I actually got these on the um, on our little 50% off as well. That was kind of clutch, man. Because I think it was like one oh, it was 95 and I paid like 55 something. 50 something like that. I'm not doing the math. Y'all get it. But this is also uh, one of my favorites. And I was hoping that the other one was going to be here in time. But I also was able to get the purple and yellow one. I don't know what the the real colorway name of it is. Let me see. Where... Oh, the purple heart. Yeah, purple heart joint. I posted another video. Of, I mean, sorry. I'll post a picture up here or there or wherever show you guys what the concrete jungles look like and tell me which one you actually like better so um for j cole i know he came out with this one purple heart the concrete jungle and the red one blood sweat and tears so i have two out of the four and i'm that's probably where i'm gonna stop at with those but i just love having a different variety when it comes to my shoe all right next up little sneaky pickup actually and this is my first ever Jordan 1 low went in the store one day on my off day I try to go to like different no, y'all know where I, work. I try to go to different sneaker stores because 
different stores will have different things. Decided to walk into this one a um, couple weeks ago when I was on my off day. Walked in and I saw that they had these and uh, it was actually their only pair which means it was probably a return and somebody probably got it online which is cool. I don't really knock that. But I thought it was a little sneaky pickup man. I don't have any shoes with purple in it. Yeah, I don't have any shoes with purple in it besides the purple hearts that I just got with this Puma. But, you know, this is kind of a different style of shoe. This is more of a casual shoe. And I got this in a four and a half, which is surprising. So, I'm thinking, I feel like the Jordan 1 lows run a little big. Because the, the four and a half fits perfectly. It's like not too tight or anything like that. I wasn't trying to squeeze my foot in it because, you know, it was the only size they have. I still have a little bit of room up there. Like, that's crazy. And I normally wear a, a, a five. Yeah, it's a, I like this shoe. I thought it was a cool little pickup, man. Don't know where I'm gonna when I'm gonna wear it. That's the thing I like about quarantine, dude. Like, where are we going? We have nowhere to go. So when we are actually able to go to stuff, I'm about to be coming out with that fire. You hear me? Yes, sir. So yes, I do have these. I think I paid about. I think the retail for these was seventy. I probably paid like somewhere between $45, $50, something like that with tax. Yeah, but check those out. Only thing I really think about these shoes, which I was kind of like torn about, is I wish that the toe box in this would have been white. Like it would have been like reverse. So you would have had the white and then the black Nike swoosh. And I actually feel like they may have something like that. But I, I think they're cool. I think they're cool. And I like the white laces. I wouldn't do anything different with that. Yes, sir. We got those. We got those, you know what I'm saying? Next up, because I've already worn them and I've actually already done a video on these as well. Oh, my God. I got a smudge on these. Oh, child. Okay, it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, these are not about to get worn a lot. Okay, we have the University Gold 12s. And wow, I I swear these were a sleeper, bruh. I swear these were a sleeper. I love this 12. It's popping. You don't have to be a Steelers fan, a Pirates fan, or whatever. People are coming for people about these shoes. Man, it's just a, it's a dope shoe. Like, it pops. Like, you see somebody, oh, I could wear this. Shoot, I could wear this shirt with that for real. And they got the little red on it. And I got these red shorts on. I mean, I would actually wear this as an outfit, if we be honest. Um, but yes, this is probably one of my favorite pickups for the month of August. I love 12s if you don't know already. Yes, so the University Goat 12s, which I already did an unboxing video on. So I'm not going to talk too much about them. But let me know if you were able to pick these up, man. Since we're on 12s, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Since we're on 12s, this is a little something new. Y'all heard the y'all heard the tissue paper, man. I, I ain't even put these joints on. I ain't even put these joints on. We have the Stone Blue, aka Indigo 12s that just came out last Saturday. You know I had to pick them up. That's the thing about working with working at a sneaker store, bro. I don't have to deal with the, the BS with the sneakers out. If we get the shoe in my store, nine times out of ten, and if it's a good shoe that I want for myself, personal only, I'm not into that whole doing all the extra stuff for myself or one of my family members. I want to get them a gift. Man, yes. I one of these. I love them. I think it's a sneaky pickup. They were actually still in stores for quite some time. But hey, I mean, to each his own. I pick up shoes that I want because I like them, not because of the hype that's built around them. Y'all know I love shoes, and I could not pass these up, especially because I love 12s. Um, I was thinking about doing an unboxing video with these, maybe a little get ready with me, because I feel like part of the reason why people didn't get this shoe is because they don't know how to style it, honestly speaking. So maybe I'll do something where I... Uh, try to dress these up. I don't have no idea what I would wear with them. But, you know, I, I feel like I can put something together. Yeah. Stone Blue slash Indigo 12s.
came out last. Moving on, last but not least, this is probably one of my favorites and I'm so happy that I was able to get this shoe, man. I didn't personally win a raffle, my best friend, so shout out to Calvin for always, always showing me so much. And I would not have this shoe if it wasn't for him, man. I'm telling you. And you already know what it is. Well, you might not. But we got the snake. In once and I love it because man red black and white is such a classic colorway for Jordan I have no bread ones I have no black toe ones I have none of that so this is one of my favorites of course um a lot of people were skeptical about this shoe because of the the snake skin of, of course and it's fake skin it's fall oh I said it's it's really nah you, you'd be okay with wearing these like for real i think a lot of people thought that the indentations were going to be like major but they're not at all they're really subtle and it's smooth as i don't know what one of my favorites and the thing i love about this shoe is they don't give you not one lace not two laces but we get three different lace swaps dude so we have the black the red and the white and i think out of all three of the laces Probably the white is my least favorite. I don't know. I don't I don't know if I see myself wearing the white laces with this joint. If anything, I'll wear the black, of course. And then maybe the red, but then it's like red on red. <sighs> I gotta put this joint on. I haven't y'all, I haven't worn these and I think Yeah, y'all. So these are definitely one of my favorites, and I'm so happy that I was able to get these. And that sums up for real what I got for the month of August. I got enough. <laughs> I got enough. So, if we'll sit here and rank them, I can't do from favorite to least. Okay, I can do favorite to least favorite. That means it's no worse because, of course, I spent my money on these shoes, okay? So, favorite, of course, I'm going to go with these joints, of course. Number two, I'm definitely going with this one. You guys know I love 12s, man. I'm actually going to go with this one for number three. Pull my future rider. I think I'm going to go. This one for number four. Yes, sir. That's number four for me. Number five, we got the the Jordan 1 Low. Definitely different for me. And then last but not least, and the only reason I put these last is because I feel like it's such a basketball shoe, dude. So I don't really know how I'm going to wear these. <laughs> um, But, yeah, I'll put this one as my least favorite. Just based on the style of the shoes that I have right here. Um, but make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys were able to get any of the shoes that I posted. Or let me know your your favorite to least favorite out of all the shoes that I caught for the month of August. Like I said again, thank you so much for staying tuned. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.